Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this video, you will learn how to create an easy and stunning PowerPoint morph animation. The beautiful PowerPoint morph animation you will learn to create today looks like this. First, we show six blocks like this. Then on a click, we show the first step in the process. Once we finish talking about the first step, then we click to show the second step, then the third step, then the fourth one, the fifth one, and the final one. Isn't this a beautiful graphic? You can use this to show steps in a process, different levels of growth, a timeline, etc. It's a highly versatile graphic, and in this video, I'll show you how to create this beautiful graphic from scratch. And the best part about this graphic is, it is so simple that even a beginner can do it without any trouble. Let me show you how to create this graphic from scratch. By the way, PowerPoint Morph Transition is available as an option for Microsoft 365 subscribers or the users of PowerPoint 2019 version. Here I am on a new slide. The first thing I'm going to do is to change the color of the background to make this a little bit more dramatic. So I'm going to right click on the blank slide, then go to Format Background and I'm going to use a gradient fill. So let us click on the gradient fill. You can use any of the preset gradients. Let me choose the first one called as Light Gradient Accent 1. I'm going to have just three gradient stops. The first one needs to be in dark gray color. Then let us choose the second stop and let us have this somewhere in the middle. Now here I have at around 50%. Then let us go to color and have a lighter color of the same hue. I'm going to choose this one called as black text one lighter 25%. And let us have the third step as the last one. So I'm going to remove this additional one. And here we choose the last stop of the gradient and then go to color and choose the same color that we chose earlier. Now we have a beautiful background. The next step is to add those blocks that will serve as stepping stones. So let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery. From Rectangles, let us choose the second one called as Rectangle Rounded Corners. Then hold the Shift button down and then draw a rounded corner rectangle like so. Now it is a perfect square because we are holding the Shift button now. Then let us change the color to white. So let me choose white color here. Go to Shape Outline, No Outline. Then right click and go to Format Shape and go to the Effects option. Go to 3D Rotation. From Presets, we are going to choose Parallel Preset. The one that we want is this called as Off Axis 1 Top. And then let us add some bevel. So let us go to 3D Format. Go to Top Bevel and say the first one called as Round. Then go to Bottom Bevel and choose the first one Round. And now we have a beautiful shape. Now all we need to do is to choose the depth. Maybe I can choose 20 as the depth. Maybe that's a little too much. Maybe I can use 15. Now that looks like a perfectly shaped block. I'm going to hold the shift button down and increase the size just a little bit more. And I'm going to have this as my first block. Then I need to make a copy of this by pressing Ctrl D. And I'm going to place this here and make sure that it is behind the first one. So I'm going to right click and say send to back and I've got it over here. Excellent. Now I'm going to make some more blocks. So let us have Control D pressed and then right click and send to back and Control D pressed, right click and send to back and then Control D pressed, right click and send to back. Now we have got five steps. I'm going to show you just five steps just to save a little bit of time. The next thing I'm going to do is to duplicate the slide. So I'm going to right click on this and say duplicate slide. Now we are going to draw the viewer's attention to the first block. So let us go to the first block, go to shape fill and choose the red color like so. Then let us add a number on top of this. So let us go to text box tool and write number one. You can always choose a bolder font. So let me select this. Go to 2 Sen Empty Condensed Extra Bold, which is a much bolder font. Let us choose white color as the font color. Then let us increase this substantially like so. Then we can place this right on top of the first block. If you want, you can add a bit of shadow to this so that this number looks a little more realistic. 
So let us go to text options and here let us choose the text effects, shadow, go to presets, go all the way down and choose this one called as perspective upper right. Now this looks a little bit more realistic. Then let us add some explanation here. So let us go to the text box tool again and you can say you can replace this text. This happens to be the explanation for the first step. Then let us choose white font color, increase the font size if required. Now you can fold this and then have this right aligned like this and place it right next to the number that we had created earlier. And now we have our first step shown. Then let us go to transitions, go to morph transition. By default, the duration is for two seconds, which is a bit too long. So I'm going to reduce this to just one second. Now let us duplicate this slide. When I duplicate this slide, morph transition also gets duplicated. So I don't have to apply morph transition every single time. Now I'm going to draw the viewer's attention to the second step. I just need to select this block, go to shape fill and choose the same red color. And I'm going to move this up slightly so that it shows the second step. I've used my up arrow key to achieve this. Then let us select this number and the associated explanation, press control D to create a duplicate. Then we can place this right on top of the second step and then we need to change the number to number two. Next, to create the third step, let me right click and duplicate the slide. I'm going to change the color of this block to red color and then use my up arrow key on the keyboard and make sure that it forms the third step. Then select this number here and the associated explanation, press control D and then place this right on top of the third step, change this number to three. Now we've got a third step animated. Then let us right click, duplicate slide and do that same thing for the fourth step as well. Change the shape fill, use the arrow key, move it up so that we are able to have the fourth step in place. Then select this number and the associated explanation, press control D and then place it right on top of the fourth step and then change this number to four. Right click, duplicate the slide, select the final block, change the shape fill, use the arrow key and move it up. Now we have got our fifth step in place. Select this and this control D and place it right on top of the last step and call this number five. That is it. Now, when I go to the first slide, go to slideshow, you can see the beautiful animation. I'll start my explanation by saying that there are five steps to growth. The first step is this. Then on a click, I show the second step, the third step, the fourth step, and the final step. <laughs> Isn't this super simple? I highly recommend that you try this trick in your next presentation and impress your audience. If you are a busy professional who doesn't have time to come up with these creative animation ideas or even time to execute them, then I highly recommend that you get our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle version 2.0. This bundle, as you know, is a collection of more than 4,200 PowerPoint templates to make your presentations beautiful and engaging. All the templates in the bundle are beautifully and professionally animated. Let me show you five examples from this bundle that show the concept that I showed you just now, which is about five steps in the growth process. The first example is this one, which shows three steps to business idea. On a click, we show what the business idea is. And then on a click, we show the first step like this, then the second step like this, then the final step like this. Now, all you need to do to create such beautiful slides is just to replace the sample text with your own text when you have comprehensive all-in-one bundle. Let me show you the next example. Here we show three key steps. On a click, we talk about step one, then step two, then step three. Another variation is this one, which shows four simple steps. On a click, we draw the viewer's attention to step one. Then a hand comes and brings in step two, then step three and the final step. If you want to show four levels, then you can use this template. On a click, we show the first level like this. You can write your text about level one here. Then on a click, we show the next level, then the next level and the final level. If you were to create this graphic on your own, you would be spending a whole bunch of time. 
Now let us go to the final example where we show seven steps to reach a goal. On a click, we show the viewers the first step, then the second step, and then the progression to the third step, to the fourth one, to the fifth one, to the sixth one, and finally to the goal. What you saw were just five of the 4,200 plus professionally animated templates from this bundle. I will leave a link to this useful product in the description box below the video. You can click on the link, come check out more details about this product. And if you think that this is the right one for you, then you can make a one-time purchase and use these templates for a lifetime. Finally, as always, if you want to join our 25 Creative Ideas free PowerPoint mini training, you can click on the link here. If you like this video, please give this video a like and share it with your friends and leave a comment. You can also hit the subscribe button to join our 200,000 other subscribers who are taking their PowerPoint skills to the next level by watching our videos. To watch our latest PowerPoint video in Presentation Process channel, you can click on the link here. So go ahead, click on the link in the description box below the video and check out more details about our comprehensive all-in-one bundle version 2.0. I'll see you in the next video.